Is that you over there? I've gleaned something very important indeed, thanks to you. The reason why it was eyes I had to eat. The distant light is far and frail. So faint it can't be seen by the naked eye. But with everyone's eyes together, it appears. Finally, it all makes sense. I'm certain now. I will be a finger maiden. I've gleaned something very important. I'm certain now. Is that you over there? Have you ever heard of fingerprint grapes? They're special grapes which only grow on those who've been clasped by the burnt fingers. I would truly love to try one. The distant light seems far closer than before, but I can't sense a thing from the usual grapes anymore. Please, could you donate a fingerprint grape to me? Without one, I don't know. I feel like I might go mad. Fingerprint grape. Tried and true. What a wondrous thing. A fingerprint grape. <laughs> oh, how sweet. Yet, how it burns. <laughs> Thank you. I've composed myself again. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. I'm sure I'll be a finger maiden. Lay out your arms. I've upset the girl. She says that now my chains are broken, I'm free. That if I stay here, I will be ruined with the round table. <laughs> what use have I for freedom now? I smith weapons to slay a god. I have lived and will die doing so upon this spot. Is there any other way? I sit. Greetings. Do you need anything? Do you possess any celestial dew? Then I would like to share my knowledge with you. Concerning the miracle of this Church of Vows, Radigan once cleansed himself with celestial dew, repented his territorial aggressions, and swore his love to Renala. The Order of the Erdry and the fate of the Moon were conjoined, and all the wounds of war forgiven. This miracle blesses the Church to this day, and so you need only follow Radigan's example to restore any bond, however strained or severed, to its rightful state of harmony. To experience the miracle, kneel in the basin at the back and cleanse yourself with celestial dew. Absolution will be yours. Any bond, no matter how strained or even severed, will be put to rights. My faith does not waver. The miracle rooted in these grounds will once again mend the world. And this time, its bounty will not be squandered. If you would be Elden Lord, tarnished, 
I hope that you too will share my faith. Oh, what have we here? Very well, let us both learn together. Heresy is not native to the world. It is but a contrivance. All things can be conjoined. Oh, what have very well, let heresy all thing. Is there some? Ah, hello there. Um, it was a battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. I, on the other hand, am nothing but a croc. One hit was all it took to crack me, and for my insides to come spilling out. After that, I, I hid like a coward, and as such, I can hardly stand to face one such as you. <sighs> but don't you think I've given up just yet? As luck would have it, there's a veritable mountain of warriors' bodies right here. If I can just squeeze this bunch down inside me, I'll be a mighty warrior again in no time. And you know, the bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering? The greatest of all wars. Hm. Just you wait and see, friend. I'll grow even stronger. Just you wait when next we meet. <laughs> Bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering? The greatest of all wars. Hm. Just you wait and see. Just you wait. <laughs> Hello. How nice it is to see a friendly face. As you can surmise, I've got myself stuck in another hole. Would you mind helping me out again? My thanks in advance. I know you're the man for the job. You know what to do, hmm? Give me a good smack from behind with something nice and big. No, don't worry about my wound sustained at the festival. I'm stuck back together good and proper. <laughs> Just give it your all. Gosh! Stop! Please! That's my face! Smack me from the other end! The other end! Please! Wait. I have a terrible feeling about this. Would you stop hitting me for a minute? I can feel my lower half is stuck on something. I don't think you can get me out just by hitting me this time. Hmm. Let's think. Perhaps there's a way to slide me out a little more smoothly. What if I could somehow be made slippery or some such? Hmm. Let's think. Perhaps there's a way to slide me out a little more smoothly. I mean, what if I could somehow be made slippery?
once you are a man of vision. This will have me as slippery as a toad. Oh, I have a good feeling about this, my friend. Right. Give me a good smack from behind with something nice and big. By the God, this will have me as... Oh, I have a good feeling. Right. My thanks to you and your razor-sharp wits. Oh. As a token of my thanks, I'd like you to have this. Oh. Deary me, I'm oilier than a toad. <laughs> you know, there were countless oil jars back where I'm from, actually. And now I know what it's like to be one of them. <laughs> Yes, indeed. I too have a home. Though it is one to which I have vowed not to return. So, I thought I might look out from atop the cliff. But as I drew closer and closer, pow, wouldn't you know it, I was perfectly stuck in that blasted hole. I can feel the warriors inside admonishing me for my mawkishness. To walk the path of champions, one cannot cleave to the past. I'm headed to the Fiery Mount in the north. I can strengthen myself there without fear of cracking this vessel. I will forge myself anew in its flames. I'm headed to the... I can strengthen myself. I will forge my... Ah, good sir. What business might you have in such a place as this? I hardly think you're here to temper yourself with flame, considering that fleshly form of yours. Your timing, though, is impeccable as ever. I've been making just the thing for you on my journey here. Take it. I'm sure it'll suit you to a T. But, uh, it's hardly more than lukewarm here. I won't be able to temper my body such that it'll never crack again. Perhaps I'll head eastward. There's an old saying I've caught wind of. Above the lofty clouds, the icy giant's peak doth soar. Here lieth the flame of ruin, which ever burning roars. Perhaps I'll head east. There's an old saying above the lofty...
I see you finally made it here yourself. The city hanging in the air is slowly crumbling. What an incredible place we find ourselves. But that aside, I can't believe you felled that giant. It was practically a god. And I doubt there's another soul out there who could have done the same. Of course, I count myself the great Alexander among many, which means I've but one thing to ask of you. Would you kindly undertake my ordeal? Come and tell me when you're ready. I've been longing to fight a warrior as accomplished as you. You are ready then, I take it? Then let us begin. I am the great Jar Warrior, Iron Fist Alexander. Let me strength, O oh warriors. Let us become one champion together. As I suspected, victory was impossible. This vessel was found lacking. My thanks. I knew you were the stuff of champions. It was a marvelous battle. I implore you, take what I bequeath from inside me. All vessels are destined to one day break. But the great Alexander lived as a warrior to his last. 